If you've been in the 8th Avenue South area in Nashville, Tennessee lately, you might have noticed something different. Yeah, I saw the evolution of it, and I really didn't expect it to uh, come out so vibrant, you know, as it did. It's really nice. Attention to detail on it is sick. Fantastic. It is actually pretty sick. It's breathtaking. I mean, you just I just want to walk into it. Um, the detail is, is stunning. And what, I was struck by the color and the detail, and not to mention the size. It's, it's unbelievable. It's fantastic. I don't even know how it was done. It's just so perfect. They're talking about the Grun Guitars mural that after two years of working off and on is finally finished. 2120 8th Avenue South is a three-story, 95-foot-long building. That's a big canvas. Every brushstroke, every layer, every minute detail that makes up this massive, labor-intensive work of art was hand-done by one man, artist Ron Sweeney. It was, it was all about creating a, a, a really unique design, and I wanted to, like, I wanted to, uh, be something very special, very special to growing guitars. And to Nashville. And to Nashville, yes. Ron Sweeney is from Birdstown, Tennessee. He's painted billboards and murals for at least 40 years. Sweeney's first mural was a 50 foot by 25 foot rendition of The Last Supper that he painted in 1979. The mural can still be seen inside the Little West Fork Baptist Church in Clarksville, Tennessee. Sweeney was five years old when he picked up his first paintbrush. He says he doesn't remember what he painted, but was sure of one thing. I, I, knew, I knew the second I ever had a thought that I wanted to paint. Even though no one in my family did it, uh, I, was actually, uh, I was actually told to quit talking about it. I'd always bring it up, and I, I, I was always adamant about you know, who paints this, who does that, and I was always told, I asked too many questions about why somebody does something, or who does it, and they, you know, and, and so I just, I was just kept on, kept on, but. Other than high you know, school never, art class, Ron Sweeney never had any formal art training. The self-taught artist chose large format commercial painting because he figured it would allow him to use his talent and make a living. It also gave him the opportunity to hone his skills. Uh, when, it, when it came to the artistry part of what I felt deep inside me, it allowed, it allowed me to go down that road, paint as much as I could, learn as much as I could, and, and I did. And I painted everything I could get my hands on. It's the Groom Guitars mural is the result of serendipity. Sweeney visited the store a few years back to get a friend's banjo appraised. While he was there, George asked him about his work, a subject Ron Sweeney loves to talk about. It just so happened that Grun Guitars was already planning on having a mural done. After nearly 10 years, it was time to spruce up what was an otherwise bland, white brick building that was easy to miss. The timing of Sweeney's visit was perfect. This is so, you paint murals. Let me see some samples of what you do. He just happened to have on his phone any mural painter or artist is going to these days have some pictures on their cell phone. And he had some great looking stuff. But I had visions bigger. But I could see that he had the ability and he could do something big. A three-story building is definitely a sizable canvas. So yes, the mural was going to be big and it needed to make a statement. More importantly, it needed to be in line with the Grun guitar's image. Not something hokey or gimmicky or just eye-catching. Obviously, we could have painted something very eye-catching that would have not been consistent with the image of Grun guitars. But we kind of liked Ron's old school kind of style of mural painting, and because that was what was used at the old business, at the old building on Broadway. It was that old hand-painted, you know, lettered type of, of mural, and it just, we just, it was something that was kind of married to the image of the business, is that style, so. Not only does the new mural fit Grun Guitar's image, it's now impossible to miss. It's like, wow, you know where you are, and it's gorgeous. I don't even play guitar, 
but he does, and it was just, it's amazing. The colors, it says Nashville, of course, guitars, and the man himself, so it's, it's beautiful, it's an eye catcher. The Groom Guitars mural is the biggest that Ron Sweeney has ever painted. He says his toughest challenge was making sure that all the difficult work made a simple statement. When it, when it, comes, when it comes to the fine craftsmanship in these instruments, they, they leave nothing out, like, it's all there. So, in, in this case, with this project, this had to be something really special. Like, this has to say something. This has to speak for itself. This has to say everything that's on the inside of the building. Ron Sweeney says the Grun Guitars mural was definitely challenging, and he's glad to be finished. But he's honored to have been asked to paint it. He says he wanted to achieve something impossible and feels like he did just that. Even though the work was tiresome, Sweeney says it was incredibly rewarding and meaningful. I just really want to just leave, leave behind a legacy that, that I was here. I actually made a mark and I, I did it here. And, and that to me is my reward.